Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. You can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. Is Dan Lin the potential perspective incoming president of the newly formed DC Studios the real deal? Well, you know what? I don't know if he's the real deal or what, but I do know he has a huge challenge in front of him. He has got a Batman 2 happening. He's got a Joker movie happening. They're set in stone. There's nothing you can do about that. For me, if I was any perspective DC Studios president, I would want to put Todd Phillips and Matt Reeves together and combine those universes as one franchise. You're saying, yeah, but the Batman's introduced their own Joker. So how can the Joker movie franchise and the Batman universe franchise be one? Because one version of the Joker could be a copycat of the other. You can have a universe with two Jokers in it. It's fine. I would be more comfortable with that situation. It won't happen. But that's what I'd look to do. I mean, this is a challenge, a huge challenge, because you've got the situation with the DC Extended Universe, the DCEU, a broken franchise that either needs fixing or it needs kind of rebooting. And it's something that it's a challenge that Walter Hamada failed in doing. Walter Hamada's undoing was many variables. First of all, there was the situation with the Snyderverse, the Ray Fisher investigations destroyed his authority. Also, he wasn't free, Walter, to make his own decisions. There was too many bu bu bureaucratic interferences like Toby Emmerich and Sarnoff. He was trying to orchestrate a reboot via the Flash movie and a multiverse strategy. Now, let's look at what Walter was attempting to do. Via this Flash movie and creating this multiverse strategy, they started green, link, green lighting many, many HBO Max DC shows, but they only green lit one cinematic movie, and that's Blue Beetle, and that's only because um, David Zaslav wanted it to be transferred from HBO Max and streaming to the theatrical system. They actually wanted Blue Beetle to stay on HBO Max. That means we were only really getting the Aquaman sequel, uh, Shazam Fury of the Gods and the Flash movie. The Flash movie was green lit back in 2020. The Shazam sequel was green lit in 2019 after the first film was released. The Aquaman sequel was green lit in 2018 after the first movie was released. So they didn't seem under the Walter Hamada plan very interested in the cinematic model, but Disney are not either. This is why both studios have set this 45 day plan. But now Zaslav has come in and said, no, I don't want to do this. I want to put all my weight on a cinematic system with DC and my WB, you know, unrelated DC movies as well. Everything is going cinematic, which personally I'm much more happy about. So the Walter Hamada plan would have been interesting, but Let's look at the HBO Max DC plan. You know, I and many of you around the world can't get access to HBO Max. So DC fans around the world wouldn't have been even able to enjoy these shows. We had to wait so many months to watch James Gunn's Peacemaker through other streaming services. I mean, credit to James, he insisted that a Blu-ray would be released. It's not released here yet, but I'll be getting it soon. It's now available to buy on um, Apple and um, Amazon, which is great. But this is the problem with releasing a structure via a streaming service because of copyright laws, global fans, international fans have to wait. So for me, it was a dumb plan all along. But if Dan Ling is in fact the new president of this newly formed DC Studios, he has to answer some questions. And as soon as he gets the job, he has to answer these questions. Are you going to restore the Snyderverse? Yes or no? I don't want to hear like we had Underwater Hamada, Emmerich and Sarnoff, things coming through Variety and The Hollywood Reporter. Are you going to restore the Snyderverse? Yes or no? I'll take either answer. I respect you for being straight and direct. The DCEU, are you going to attempt to fix the DCEU? Are you going to continue the DCEU? Are you going to start again with a brand new franchise? We need direct, straight, honest 
answers. And the fans need to know as soon as he or whoever gets this job. Because we can't be messing around now. As I say, it's a huge challenge. For me, it's pretty outrageous. We have a DC Extended Universe but we haven't implemented a Green Lantern core universe. I know they're developing something for HBO Max. Is it happening? Isn't it happening? All we've got are media reports that it is happening. That's nothing. J.J. Abrams, Constantine, rumors and innuendos that it's happening. We don't actually know if it's happening or not. We need to know these things. Not only if the DCEU is going to continue, what's, what timeline, if you're gonna continue and persist with the DCEU, what timeline are you going with? The Snyderverse timeline, like it's been rumoured. I mean, Jason Momoa has um, been teasing that maybe Batfleck and Keaton's Batman are in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. I think that's a fucking dumb idea, but we'll have to wait and see because Momoa is speaking and speaking, but the new president of DC Studios, who will be in total control, um, and won't have to answer to WB Pictures or HBO Max or WBTV. He will be above them. He will be running his own department like Kevin Feige at Marvel Studios runs his own department. And that is a really good idea. So that should improve the situation. But is he capable of doing this? As I say, you know, this is not me questioning Dan Lin's ability. It's me questioning if anyone can fix this situation. For example, if they stay with the DCEU, it's a huge challenge. And, and as I've said, it's the question of the Snyderverse, it's the question of the Hamadaverse, it's the question of a new universe. It's so messy, and you've got all these different fans who want different things. As I've said so many times, this is what makes it such a dangerous playing field. For me, I'd come in and cancel everything and start again, because then I'd say to those fans, listen, I understand that you love this, and you love this, but I'll tell you why I'm not going to continue the DC Extended Universe because of this and that. There's you that wants this, there's you that wants the other. There's some people who want the Snyderverse timeline, and there's some people who want another timeline, and there's some people who want to start again. Then you've got the situation with Ezra Miller. He makes one more mistake and the Flash movie is fucking dead. I personally think the Flash movie should be dead. We've heard so many conflicting reports about test screenings and them being, you know, the highest rated and scored test screenings in DC history, you know, equaling the, not, the Dark Knight trilogy. I mean, personally, having experienced the test screening for the Flash movie, I find that difficult to believe. It's an interesting film. It's really good in places. It's not so good in other places, but a test screening, don't forget, is an unfinished movie. So it's unfair of me to say whether it's a great movie or a bad movie. I'm indifferent about what I saw. But these are decisions that Dan or someone else is going to have to make. And these are kind of impossible, difficult decisions because... The DCEU has been allowed to fester. Zack, you know, started off with MOS, BVS. Uh, he was still running it when um, the first Suicide Squad came out. Uh, Wonder Woman, he's very responsible for that movie. His Justice League movie was immense. They sacked him and someone else came to do another Justice League movie, which we call Justice League. Then he wasn't involved anymore. Then we fought for the Snyder Cut. We got the Snyder Cut. We had hope the multiverse strategy could implement the Snyderverse and the Hamadaverse at the same time. And it simply didn't work out. And so Zaslav and Alan Horn have got the right ideas to put someone in charge who isn't kind of hampered by Warner Brothers Pictures or Casey Bloys at HBO Max or, you know, the Warner Brothers television head Whoever's in charge of DC Studios has to be in charge of moulding that universe. But it's such a huge, impossible task. And um, I'm not... With Walter Hamada, when he came in, I was really excited. I said, this is a great guy. He's responsible for the success of the horror division at New Line Cinema. And I thought, yes, good guy, clever guy. And he is. There's no question about that. But unfortunately, he was controlled by these different entities and these bureaucrats at Warner Brothers Pictures, so we can't be having that now. David Zaslav seems like a very good guy, um, and some of you say, well, no, he's cancelling animation, um, he's um, 
you know, he cancelled the Batgirl movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These were difficult decisions that have to be made. But the studio is a fucking mess. It's been run into the ground. And when you're in this situation, you come in as a new CEO of a newly formed merged company, you have to make these decisions. So is Dan Lin the real deal? Well, I'm not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. I'm going to say I will judge him on his decisions. This has been Movies TV Man. I'm Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you never miss this beautiful perfection. And I'll see you in the next video. Until I see you again, goodbye, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen.